Five prime nuclease probes incorporate a fluorescent reporter molecule at either the five prime or three prime end of an oligo and a black hole quencher at the opposite end. The first step involves heating to denature the double-stranded DNA into single-stranded DNA. During the second step, a forward primer anneals to the target strand of DNA and is extended by TAC polymerase. A reverse primer and 5' prime nuclease probe then anneal to this newly replicated strand. The polymerase cleaves the probe from the target strand. Upon cleavage, the reporter is no longer quenched by its proximity to the black hole quencher and fluorescence is released. BHQ plus probes incorporate a fluorescent reporter molecule at the 5' prime end of an oligonucleotide and a black hole quencher dye at the 3' prime end. In contrast to traditional dual-labeled probes, BHQ plus probes contain duplex stabilizing chemistry to permit the design of shorter probe sequences, making them ideal for detecting difficult target sequences such as AT-rich regions and single nucleotide polymorphisms. All pyrimidine nucleotides are replaced by propine counterparts. These modified nucleotides strengthen the binding stability of such a short probe to maintain the optimal melting temperature for real-time PCR. The reaction mechanism follows the same steps as 5' prime nuclease probes, but here we demonstrate probe-based genotyping using BHQ plus probes. Two probes are each designed to detect a different target allele that differ in sequence by only a single base, the SNP. This creates a mismatch when the wrong probe binds to that allele, which is then displaced by the correct probe that is fully complementary. The probes can be distinguished by different fluorescent reporters that signal with different colors. The first step involves heating to denature the double-stranded DNA into single-stranded DNA. During the second step, a forward primer anneals to the target strand of DNA and is extended by TAC polymerase. A reverse primer and one of the BHQ plus probes then anneal to this newly replicated strand. The two probes will compete to bind against the same target allele, but due to the single base mismatch and increased probe specificity, one BHQ plus probe is rejected in favor of the other. The polymerase extends and cleaves the bound probe from the target strand. Upon cleavage, the reporter is no longer quenched by its proximity to the BHQ dye and fluorescence is released. Each replication will result in the cleavage of a probe. As a result, the fluorescent signal will increase proportionally to the amount of amplification product and with a color that corresponds to the allele that is present. Molecular beacons form stem loop structures as a result of complementary stem sequences at their 5' prime and 3' prime ends and a target-specific region in the center which forms the loop. This structure brings the 5' prime reporter and 3' prime black hole quencher into close proximity so that fluorescence is quenched. The first step involves heating to denature the double-stranded target DNA and to open the stem loop structure of the molecular beacon. During the second step, the temperature is lowered for annealing, causing the reporter and quencher to spread apart and release fluorescence. Finally, the temperature is increased for optimum extension, which causes the molecular beacon amplicon hybrids to dissociate. Scorpion's primers combine primer and probe in one molecule. They contain a primer sequence at the 3' prime end and a hairpin loop structure at the 5' prime end. Similar to beacons, the hairpin brings the reporter and quencher into close proximity, and the loop contains a sequence complementary to the target. The first step involves heating to denature the double-stranded DNA into single-stranded DNA. During the second step, the temperature is lowered, which allows the target-specific primer of the scorpion's primer to anneal to the target sequence. During the third step, the polymerase extends from the scorpion's primer sequence. The final step involves heating, which causes the scorpion's primer to unfold, then cooling, which allows the complementary sequence to anneal to the newly replicated strand. This prevents the hairpin loop from reforming and separates the fluorophore and quencher, releasing fluorescence.